It was a major success for SpaceX. An unmanned rocket carrying supplies to the space station blasted off Sunday from NASA's historic launch pad 39A, where moon missions once began. Tony DeCopel has the incredible sights and sounds. Three, two, one. Ignition and lift off of the Falcon 9 to the space station. With roaring engines and a cheering crowd, a Falcon 9 rocket shot through the clouds, beginning a three day mission to the International Space Station. The historic launch marked the first time a private space company, Elon Musk's SpaceX, lifted off from Launch Pad 39A, the government's gateway to space for the Apollo and space shuttle missions. And you can see it descending there with the landing zone in the background. Shortly after launch, SpaceX stuck the landing, bringing its rocket back to solid ground for just the third time. This rocket can now be reused. Musk posted a picture of the Triumph captioned, Baby Came Back. What has yet to come back is the company's Dragon spacecraft, which separated from the rocket and is now bound for the space station, packed with more than two tons of supplies. It's expected to arrive Wednesday. Meanwhile, SpaceX has bigger plans to ferry not just supplies, but astronauts to the space station, perhaps as soon as next year. But there have also been setbacks. Last September, an unmanned SpaceX rocket exploded on a launch pad, and in June 2015, on a different NASA mission, another unmanned SpaceX rocket disintegrated shortly after liftoff. They hope to have Pad 40 back in action again. May. Bill Harwood is the space consultant for CBS News. NASA has high hopes that SpaceX, as well as Boeing, uh, will be able to launch astronauts to and from the space station. A wild card in all of this is what the Trump administration plans for NASA. After Sunday's success, SpaceX has reason to be flying high. Tony DeCopel, CBS News, New York.